Hello YouTube, this is Assassinator17 and today I'm going to be showing you how to mount ISO files. Now, ISO files are images of a disk. It's basically what's going to be on a disk before it's been burnt to one. And um, you don't find these a lot, but if you do come across one of these, normally what you would do is um, you would burn it to a CD and then um, you would then put it back in your computer and see what's on there. There is quicker ways to do it and this is where how mounting comes into it. Now you don't have to do it this way, this is just the way I've figured out, this works pretty well for me. Anyway, um, we're going to go to slicesoft.com and they've got a pretty good piece of software here called Virtual Clone Drive. Now all this is done by having what's called a virtual CD drive. And this is this is some pretty cool shit. I like this. So we'll just save the file, open it up, and install. We don't have to associate it with all these files here. For instance, I took all of these off and just left ISO when I installed it because I found that to be more helpful. But if you need it for more purposes or whatever, you can keep those on go next and you would install it. I've already got this on my computer so I don't need to install this. Anyway, once you've got that installed, you go to my computer and you should see you have an extra CD drive right here that wasn't there before. This is your virtual CD drive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click that and um, see all of these might not work. I don't think that will work so that you can't open it because it's not really there. It's virtual CD drive click virtual clone drive, click mount and then you find your ISO file it's on my desktop I've just got to find it now here it is, this is just the one I'm going to be testing with see, you mount that and then it comes up with what was on the CD this is what it would be like if you just put the CD in but obviously this is a lot quicker and a lot easier to do it you just open it up and there, it, there we go so this is quicker than burning it and putting it in your computer again anyway that's it uh, goodbye.